Hey everyone, welcome to the ClintonGroup.tv. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about 1031 tax deferred exchanges. Hey everyone, yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. So 1031 tax deferred exchanges, just a few things you need to know. When you're selling a home and there's a capital gains involved, meaning that there's a profit involved, if you sold it, you bought a home safe at 500,000, you're selling it today for 700,000, difference between the two between what you bought it for, what you're selling it for, minus all the fees and so forth, is your net profit. That's your capital gain. You'll be subject to paying capital gains tax. Now, how to avoid capital gains tax? There's a couple ways to do it. One is you can do what we call as a 1031 tax defer exchange. The basic rules of 1031 says that you have to sell a property of equal to or greater. Or the, when you're selling a property, you have to buy another property of equal to or greater than the one you're selling. So if you sold a home, let's say for 700,000, you buy another one, say for 700,000 of equal that value or greater, you could defer all of the gain from the previous purchase and profit into the next home. So if you bought a home for 500,000, let's say that you were selling it, say, and netting 700,000, the $200,000 gain, you could you could take the $200,000 gain that you have, which you normally would pay gain, capital gains tax on, you buy another home of 700,000 or greater, you defer all that amount into the next house. Now, to avoid all the capital gains tax, one, you have to buy other, other property or properties of equal value or greater, one. Number two, you have to do all this within 180 days after you close. So if you're gonna close on a home, let's say February 15th, you have 180 days or say six months to make all this happen. You gotta close on the next property within say 180 days. Now during that 180 days, you have 45 days from the day that you close to identify up to three properties that you're gonna purchase. So you've gotta close on the property, let's say February 15th, identify three properties within 45 days, call that through say March 31st, and then one of those three that you identify, you must close on within 180 days of the day that you closed. So if you do all of that, follow these rules, again, buying another property or properties of equal, equal to or greater than the one you're selling, you'll be able to take all of the gain that you have, defer it into the next property, right? And do that all within that 180 days, you will not pay any capital gains at all. So if you're thinking about looking for another additional investment property, if you're looking to sell one, defer your gain, whatever it may be, feel free to reach out to me direct or my team at 609-398-5333 or you can email me directly, jeff at thequintongroup.com. Thanks for watching.